by great demand, he's back. This time, oh yeah, this time, not rented, is ours. And he ain't going nowhere. And I mean, she's doing this job pretty damn well. Probably better than the other seed. The only thing I will say, and this is the Giants DLC pack, you know, from, you know, yeah. It's missing some of the spots. Now, that's not the track, though. It's this. It's like it's not flexible enough. It's not... You know what I mean? It's just not quite got... Oh, this was it over 12 metres, but I think it'd be flexible. It'd bend. It would go over the shapes. I mean, you'll see in a bit as we go round. It's about to stop, turn around. Is it the map? Was it bad? Was the field? I mean, I've had no problems. But with this, not quite as good as the other one. I mean, it's better in a way. It's bigger. No, it's double the size. You know what I'm saying? Double the size. So was 6 to 12. So it's double the size. And it fertilizes and seeds. Bonus. Always a bonus, you know? But as you'll see, if we go around, there's a few spots on the outside. Now, is that because I made the field bigger a little bit? Oh, I don't know. I don't. But I went over humbly bumpy on the other field, and it was whooping it, wasn't it? A couple of little places went in a different way. Well, I mean, I went in that over the corner there, went in, out. I couldn't get it in, and I gave up. I give up and I don't often give up, but with that, I did. And I am ashamed to admit it, I went, you know what? No. So, there's a whole row here just coming up here, look. I like it just went, no, no. Well, yes, yes. We're not, we're not doing that. So let's see if we can go from this way. I'm not happy. Are we done? So it shall be done. That means we have to do stupid stuff to get it done. Then I'll do stupid stuff to get it done. I mean, is that a miss or is that this? No. But again, up there. There's another spot. You know, this, this job's hard enough. Without the potatoes, we go with it. And no, this is grass being put in. No, we're not putting potatoes in for those who think we are. We're putting grass and we're getting our factory running. That's the plan. You know, over the next year, we, that's what we want to do. Get our factory done. See, look, see, we're over that. Lovely. We missed that bit. So let's try the old potatoes. Don't be it. I just... I don't know. That's from a different angle. And it still missed it, look. To a different angle. I don't want that. I just want it to be done. Well, the third time. The third time we finally... Oh, and if you go too much at a turn, but we know that anyway with these. They've been the same since... Well... 15, they've always been the same. Too much turny, lose power. I don't know if that's a thing with the real ones. I mean, and that's not a tractor. But I used to drive the bulldozers, when I used to drive the bobcats. They're the same thing, just did. They work. But for some reason, in this game, too much on key. And it just goes, ah, ah, no, 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 we lose power. It doesn't matter if it's a John Deere, a Fend, a Case, whatever you want to pick. If it's on tracks, full lock, it's like, no. There's no power, and we ain't going forward. Just to straighten it back up, and then that'll go around. 
It's something we're trying to, we've fallen in love with, apparently. It's never been changed. We're from 15 when I first started it. And I think it was the Challenger pack. But it's still a thing. Then it went to the Cobra, and all that, you know. But it's still a thing. We still got it. Thank you. We do appreciate it. People keep putting it over. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, without these modders, we wouldn't have half the stuff we've got. And that's a, that's a fact. So, uh, today's about modern. What do you think? This map. 60 hours. Over 60 hours. On it. And yes, we found some bits, like, you know, over there. We don't quite... He's fenced it off, he's told you to leave it alone. But no! Oh no, that's not good enough for us. We still want more, we got all these lovely fields. All the finds, we just, it's just soaked it up. You know, even the building on this house over here, yes, you can. It allows it. Fantastic. So enjoyable because of that, you know. Looks like you got a visitor today. Anyway. It's a great, great, and the community. Oh, dear. When I went to Lama, you know, I saw all those fantastic YouTubers and giants and just the warm, you know, they even cracked the darn... Well, I wasn't too sure if they were crisp or ch chips, but to some of us it was crisp. The lights of um, Farmer Cock and um, oh, it's Farmer Cop and who was the other one? Oh, yeah, Mr. <clears throat> DJ Gohan. I, I chips. I kept looking for the chips and I couldn't find them. <laughs> oh dear. But no, Farmer Cop, he. This is so fantastic. This is such a down to earth person. You know, the third the farmer, he was there. I mean, a few others as well, but. People that have watched. Been, yeah. We missed the city P. Well, you know, signing all the cards. And, yeah. I, you know, I went there first thing in the morning, right? And he was obviously doing his bits with giants. I didn't. I didn't. You know. Yes, of course I want to meet Giant. Of course I want to do this. Of course. But people wouldn't know me. I don't like crowds. I don't like going out of the house. You know? And I find all that very overwhelming. So. But actually, go and talk to them? No. No. It was just enough. Seeing them, watching them enjoy what they do. You know, you know me, I'll hide behind my mic. <laughs> and uh, I'll try to stay back as far as I can. And I made some good, you know, got some good recordings of them. All sitting on the chairs doing their stuff and one day <laughs> I mean probably the next time I see him now will probably be in Germany 
and I'll just go up to you. Go up and say hello. It'll be hard for me. You know? So if you do see me, please come up and talk. Say hello. Because that might be the only way I get round to see you. Uh, if people are in my face and I have to say hello, and I'll say hello, I'll be polite. And that's sometimes enough for me to move forward, but... Oh dear. It's not this one, it's... Oh dear. I find all that very, very nervous. Very nervous. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to take me. No? And it's hard. Anyway. Enough of me. Right, this cedar. In the middle of the field, yeah. But it's a little bit bubbly, and I love that. I love that. I love to be going, you know, you don't have a field, you don't see the field and it's completely flat. So what, what world are you in, if that's what you're doing? It's smooth, yes, and you can make it smooth, but you want a bit of shape to it. And this is what this map has, all that lovely shape, let me watch, let me watch. Huh? We're going over, we're going down. We're going into the valley. You know? I think that's what I like about this map the most. The hills, the landscape. It's, it's just fantastic. I mean, all my life, well, for the last two, I've been <clears throat> down south and south down to the hills, the wind, and the rain, and yeah. And thinking, why we talk about small vehicles and small this and not until you move up and you see big tractors in massive fields. You know, there was combining the other day. You know, well, I'll say the other day, a few weeks back now. <clears throat> Three combines in a field. Three of them. In the same darn field. Yeah, on that evening, I thought I'd just drive past, and they're still in that field, combining. I don't know if I had a breakdown, or whatever. But it was pitch black, and they were still at it. And the light system on it is amazing. Absolutely damn amazing. You know, I've said to many people, it's like being in a foreign country. And everyone laughs. Oh, you're in England, the fields are the same. <laughs> no, they're not. And I think it's because of property. It's so dear down south. So dear. You know, farmers can't afford, you know, seven, eight hundred acres for one field, for one you know, farm. The team's up here. Seven and eight hundred is it's a small farm. You know. Anyway. What do we miss in life? Well, I didn't think I would, because I don't see him that much anyway. But I really miss my uncle. You know, he passed away a little time ago. 
and okay so we didn't like see each other every week or, you know and as when Nan passed away that become less time I saw him because you know I'd go to my Nan's and sometimes they'd be there but I didn't realize just how much I'd miss him I suppose it, what I'm trying to say is do you have family still around? The best thing to do is just to make that little effort and go to him and enjoy the time that you have you know I've been spending more time with my mum and my dad than people would believe to be fair you know once a month I come down and I... Well, I've actually been staying there with them. But it's been quite cool. I mean, they understand that I come down and got other people to see, so I'll get up in the morning. You know, and I, I might not come back to like 8 o'clock. You know, but I try to be nice and, you know, get home a sensible time. So, what I never dream of doing when I was little. You know, they tell me to come home at 10. So I come home at 10 in the morning, you know. After knocking the door, windows at 3, trying to get in, couldn't get in. So I thought, oh well. It was like I'm staying out again tonight, you know. And then when they get up and I get there in the morning at 10 o'clock, they go, well, where was you? Well, you told me if I want in by 10, stay out. So I did. I'm back here now at 10 in the morning, you know. Hmm. Oh, there would be some days that I'd get in early. Maybe some days I'll come in at 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, they would actually be up. Yeah? I mean, why I was never allowed a key, I do not know. I mean, all my siblings have had keys, but I don't know. For whatever reason, I was never allowed. And I'm the oldest one, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty good around that one. <clears throat> but there we go. Um, you know, like my father, he was in hospital, you know, three weeks ago, they phoned me up, well, a lot I can do, you know, if money's tight and you put it aside to do with something, then it's got to be done for that thing. Yeah. And of course, with the cost of living now, well, I watched that on TV last night. There was a, I think she was about seven, I think she was. Well, she was six, and she had the seventh birthday in on the show. And she was saying about, doesn't want to be a parent. It's hard work. Yeah, did not it? Someone at the age of seven. What well, shouldn't be worrying about bills or where our next bit of dinner is coming from? And we were talking about England, you know, we're not not out in a stick somewhere, you know. Worrying about where she's gonna get our next bit of food. And I mean we're talking about people who are working. I mean, I don't know what he did in the hospital. Probably a cleaner or, you know, one of the people moving from room to room. I, I don't know. They didn't go into it. But he worked for the National Health Service. And the, the lady is training to be something else to, to do with the uh, National... I think a nurse or something. It just doesn't matter if you... On the dole, for whatever reason, ill or whatever, or if you're training to be something, it seems like all you get is struggles with life. And then they were saying they were paying £600 a month for a three bedroom house, I'd imagine, they had a garden, so. 
and the landlord said that you know he's having hard times and he needs to sell well that's that's okay if that's a genuine reason then the government or the, the local council or the government should go right you are fitting this family of five I think it was I think you said yeah I think it was five there was three or children because you are you know hard times shall we say so then they should watch him make sure he does sell that property make sure he never rents that property out to anyone and can't even buy another one for say like five years because a lot of people are renting they know they can get more money elsewhere they do so but if the property market goes up like the rent goes up then the council should have the common sense to make that gap happen because they were putting him in hotels after hotels and you're not telling me that's cheap there's just no sense in that no sense at all you know I mean we got it got to be hundred pound a night isn't it it's got to be you know doesn't doesn't make sense anyway a little bit about England you know people keep coming over and they think it's great over here not as great as it used to be let's put it that way but this heart this uh cedar are we in little bits which well, great now I don't know if we're even allowed to do this in England because I've not seen them driving this I'm on the road well, I'll show you what I mean like this driving it down the road like that because every time I see one of these track devices like this there's a trailer you know one of them low loaders flatbeds you know what I want about that with dodo you know in the field or nearby pick it up you know well, I think is that down to time because you think driving along you know 27 miles an hour I don't know what sort of damage it's making to the ground I wouldn't like to think I mean it says minimum contraction but you'd think it'd be quite good on the ground But yet you always see these trailers. And I've never seen one on the road. Like I've just done, you know. Right. And that's that for me today. Yep, that's mine. 1% fertilised, well that will give it a bit when it goes over. Nice, nice ground, nice cultivated ground, that's what you want to see. Two grass fields are done, okay, remember that. Oh, at the back of the shop. Yeah, until next time. Let's have a little thought about how grateful you are 
the most simple is of things. Just there's people out there haven't got it. Time